As you guys know, I'm still triggered over this Cowboys kicking situation. You are. You are. You've been all day. I'm a little concerned oh, for you, to be week. honest. You put three yeah. holes in the drywall. Yeah, I'm telling you. But I've, I'm I'm trying to sort this thing out. And our guy Patrick Walker from CBS Sports has written an article this afternoon talking about what they plan on doing with Greg Zerline. Okay, so we do know they have execute re- him. That's what I would like to do. But you then, can't say that, well, I know. Brian Kelly. Yeah, but John McKay started. Take him on a fishing trip. Mm-hmm. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Well, they signed. They re-signed the kicker they had in for the preseason. Remember when Hunter the punter was trying to kick because Zerline was in the hospital with his back surgery, and they had Hunter the punter try to kick because he used to do it in the XFL, and then they realized that wasn't going to work. So just before the preseason ended, they brought in kicker Lirim. 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 Yeah. Irohalu. Bless you. Hirohalu. Mm-hmm. Come on, fam. We'll just say yeah. you're in the ballpark. Yeah. Yeah, Hirohalu. Yeah. So they brought him yeah. because nobody trusts that leg, mm-hmm. right? All right, so here's what they're going to do. So this is what they're going to do. Now, and by the way, we already know I was been upset since the guy stepped out of the hospital. And like, How are you going to have this guy and assume he's going to be accurate and correct with this, with coming out of the back surgery? And then they were having cross messages saying, well, maybe it was mental. No, he was physically all right. Or maybe it was physical. No, what? And then Jerry steps into it and says something about he had a quad situation. In the- oh, double injury. Yeah. I'm like, what the hell? And so they bring in Lero. Is that his name? Just yeah. keep, get, whatever just you like. Lero. No, Ty- say, yeah, say it again. Ty though. Horbath. Just whatever well, you like. I called him <laughs> Kyle Horbath. Call him Tom. Andy. And you Mark. said Kai is still in town, right? Who he's, hit he's, 10 I have no idea where he year, lives, but he's, he's available, available for work. Well, they got Lirum here, and Lirum is going to be here. Now, here's the situation we got to look out for, Jeff. And I want you to keep an eye on this. At the I, end of the week. I'll keep an eye on the kickers. They say, mm-hmm. depending on how Lirum looks and how mm-hmm. Greg looks in practice this week, they might activate him Sunday. Oh, we have an actual competition. Yes. That they could have had in camp, but they're yes. electing to have between game one and two. The tricky part huh. is, will they do this and take him to L.A.? Because you know that, that you got to have some, you're going to have to have so many guys active, right? Mm-hmm. And are they going to take two kickers and a punter to L.A.? And oh, why the hell do, not? Every week there's multiple well, guys see, over there that ain't going to play. This is why I would do this. The coach actually said it in the press conference. He said, eight games a year come down to the last drive. If if Greg the leg is sucking in the first half like he did the last game, you better have Lyrum there. That's all I'm saying. You don't want to be stuck. It's, in other words, I'm looking at the way you got Zach Martin, right? If if Terrence Steele is sucking in the first half. Put in Lyrum. No, you oh. put in Zach Martin over there. <laughs> oh, yeah. But you got to have Lyrum there. So if they don't take Lyrum, I'm going to be upset. Okay. And that's all I've got to say. All right. I, I think they've totally botched this. You I think sure it's, a, it's a sign that uh, John Fossil's been way overpowered. Thank and, you. And if if you tell the head coach, look, everything's fine. We got it covered. He won't look into, into it any further. He'll be like, oh, they say it's good. I guess it's good. <laughs> I got a nap to get to or a massage. And you know how, you know how Steve is always saying, well, we're all, we're all invested in this guy. He yeah. said the same thing about Brett Maher, and then they yeah. did the right thing. Yeah.